old man had been dropping the poison over the fence for the dogs to eat, but they do not know why. The third dog ingested the poison but survived. Now, News Center 7 continues. Whenever I do get married, I wish she could be there for that. Ah, you're never too big for a mommy. <laughs> A 17-year-old tells us she never imagined she would be planning her mother's funeral. Today, the woman responsible for her mother's death gets jail time. News Center 7's Yuna Lee has exclusive interviews with both the daughter and with a man injured in the same crash. October 23rd, 2011, a day that both the daughter and also a witness say they'll never forget. Even a year doesn't make it any easier. She smiled when the car hit her because she didn't see it coming. David Woods Jr. also hit by Porsche Gresham's car in Germantown. Woods was helping 35-year-old Billy Joe Baker of Dayton, who ran out of gas on the side of the road. It only missed me by an inch from getting killed, because it hit me like right here, and my back and my shoulder and my neck was all messed up. Woods sitting in court today for Porsche Gresham's sentencing hearing in Dayton. His life, one of the multiple lives changed as a result of a tragic accident. Gresham pleading no contest in September, convicted of vehicular manslaughter. Gresham addresses the victim's family. I know she was someone's daughter, mother, sister. Um, and I'm sorry. And I had just lost my mom four months before, so I know how you feel. So I'm sorry. And I hope you all can forgive me. Baker's daughter, 18-year-old Megan Wilkins, addresses the court as well and tells Gresham she will forgive. But Wilkins tells us forgetting is hard and there's one hug she will never forget, a hug she never imagined would be her last. On the morning of October 23rd, um, I had stayed all night with her. We were there and we had an awesome night. And um, it was like 7.30 in the morning and she walked me to the door and she hugged me and she kissed me and she said, well, mommy loves you. I'll call you when I wake up later. And um, that was the last time I saw her. I gave her a big hug. Wilkins says she's going to live a good life to honor her mother. I'm going to go back to school for her. <laughs> Judge Deidre Logan sentences Gresham to 90 days in jail but 60 suspended, which means Gresham will spend 30 days in Montgomery County Jail, three days each week for the next 10 weeks. Reporting in Dayton, Yuna Lee, News Center 7. A woman's 911 call.